in this CXC CSEC multiple choice examination past paper, questions 7, 9, and 10 are based on the topic number theory. In this video, we will go through the questions from this past paper. To get the most out of this video, please pause the video here and resume when you have an answer for each one. Give it your best shot. And if you really cannot work out any, then narrow it down and guess. There is no penalty in this exam for wrong answers. So always choose an answer to each question, even if that means guessing. Last chance to pause the video. I'm going to show the working in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go. Questions 7 and 9 I answered in a previous video. Check the description below for the link. The answers to questions 7 and 9 are B and D respectively. Question 10. The next term in the sequence, 1, 6, 13, 22, 33, is either A, 44, B, 45, C, 46, or D, 52. Usually in sequences, there's a pattern in addition or multiplication, or both addition and multiplication combined. Let us see if there's a pattern in addition. 1 plus how much would give you 6? 1 plus 5. 6 plus how much would give you 13? 6 plus 7. 13 plus how much would give you 22? 13 plus 9. 22 plus how much would give you 33? 11. 5, 7, 9, 11. So each time we add in 2 more. So it stands to reason that the next, to get the next number, we will add 13. 33 plus 13 is equal to 46. So the answer is C. That's it. My name is Mr. Dubey. See you in the next video.